Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Chef V. If you're new to this channel, welcome Wagwan. You can go on ahead and subscribe down below. So today's video is going to be a three in one get ready with me. And this hair is from Eunice here. It's not fully laid yet, but don't watch that. We're gonna fix it soon. But first things first, I'm gonna do my makeup and my eyebrows are already done. So I'm gonna clean it up and I'll be using the Born This Way from Too Faced. And this is their creamy concealer in butterscotch. So all I'm gonna do is clean up my brows using this concealer. I usually use LA Girl, but I've moved on to this concealer and I actually like it because of the full coverage that it has. So I'm gonna use it to clean up my brows. I'm gonna use it to later conceal um, under my eyes and my eyelids to prep for the eyeshadow. But first I'm gonna use the MAC primer and this is a mattifying primer because my skin tends to get oily now i live in toronto it's cool but somehow sis even though my skin sometimes dry but when i wear makeup it gets so oily so i use that mattifying primer and i'm using this poreless primer also and this is to help with the appearance of pores to minimize it and then i'm going to use this um, foundation from Too Faced. I'm also new to this foundation. If you know in the winter or when the seasons are changing, your complexion also somehow changes as well. And so this is my transitioning foundation and I'm using the shade Chai. And I had the Spice Rum first. That's the first shade that I got, which the girl at Sephora recommended, but that was hella dark. And so I'm using a damp beauty blender to just press that into my skin so it looks more flawless. So I'm just going to continue to do that and I'm going to put it on my forehead of course. I'm just going to blend everything out and then I'm going to move on to the next step. Now it's time to conceal. So I'll be using the same concealer and I'm using, as I said before, the Butterscotch from Too Faced. And I'm gonna put this under my eye, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and on my chin. And then I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender to blend this out. Also, I forgot on my Cupid's bow as well. And I do this in accordance to the shape of my face. So everyone's face is unique. So do this to how you want to highlight your face or how your face is shaped. So I'm just working this into my skin by pressing it in and dabbing, you know the usual, nothing new. Now that that's done, I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender once more and I'm gonna use a Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and I'm using this very lightly and I'm gonna press it under my eyes. Now this is the set my concealer under my eyes so I use very little to set the concealer so using very little press that in and then I go over it another time a second time rather and I use a little bit more this time and I'm gonna put this on my chin as well all the areas that I basically put the concealer I'm gonna put the setting powder now for my eyes, I'm gonna use my LA Girl Concealer and this is the shade Fawn. And this is just to use as a primer for my eyes to make my shadow pop a little bit more. Now after I do that, I'm gonna take the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder once again and just use this to set the concealer in place for the shadow. Now the eyeshadow that I'm using is Morphe and this is the 35M palette and I'm using this shade that I just showed you. I don't even know what the shade is called but it's like this maroon reddish tone shade 
and I am packing that on with my blending brush so I'm just gonna put it on basically the majority of my eyes but I'm staying away from the inner corners because I'm gonna put a gold shade there so I'm just trying to blend this out so it looks a little bit more smooth especially in the crease of my eye and yeah just basically pack that on and I'm gonna do that to the other eyelid and basically I'm just trying to make sure they match they don't have to look super super identical the aim is to make them look super identical so I'm just gonna blend that in so I'm gonna use the how to beauty and I love this palette I think it's called medium brown obsession or something like that but I'll leave everything in the description box for you guys and this is the gold tone that I'll be using in the inner corner of my eye just to blend that in so afterwards i'm gonna take the same brush that i used for the red maroon tone and just to make sure that the colors transition smoothly Now for under my eyes, I'm using the NYX palette, the Vivid Bright, and this is a blue shade that I'm using. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I hate doing my lower lids because I get teary product gets in my eye. It's just crazy. So I'm just using this as just a shade of liner under my eye. If you have a blue liner, you can use it. I just i'm not that great so i'm gonna dust off the excess powder off my face i know i'm looking a little bit chalky and dry but that's gonna be fixed very soon and i'm also gonna warm up my face a little bit and by warming up my face i'm gonna use the fenty beauty uh, matchstick in truffle and this is just to add some dimension to my face and a little bit of contour for my nose i'm not that great at contouring sis like much as I try at seeing so I use a little bit on my forehead as well you know make it look a little bit smaller that's the trick and I'm using the damn beauty blender once more and I'm gonna blend that in as best that I can and for my nose I'm just dabbing and brushing and blending as much as I can you don't want that sharp look sis you don't want to look too crazy excuse my nose ring from peeking out now I'll be using this medium tone setting powder and I'm just going to put that underneath the contour that I just did. And as I said, I know I'm looking a little bit chalky, but we are going to fix that just now, sis. Don't worry about it. I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to dust off the excess powder. Now this misting spray I got from Amazon, I'll leave the link down for you guys. It's like rose water, some herbal mist type of situation but i absolutely love it it melts my makeup together now once the mist is dry i'm just going to put on some mascara on my bottom lashes and i'm not putting mascara on the actual falsies that i'm wearing i put it on my eyelashes that had a little bit of powder on it now this highlight is from mac and I couldn't tell you the name of it, so I'm going to leave it in the description box when I actually find out. Now, this highlight is like for an everyday type of wear. I absolutely love how subtle it is. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on the bridge of my nose as well and on my brow bone. And yes, it's just it's, it's just the everyday wear when I don't want to look too extra, you know? Like, I actually have those days. Now, I'm going to use this brown pencil to line my lips now i'm going to use this lip gloss from nyx and yeah that's basically all there is for my makeup everything will be down in the description box for you guys tell me what you think about this look i don't even know what i was going for but i just like these colors together now for my hair this hair is from eunice hair and i'll leave the link down below it's a peruvian body wave in inches 24 22 20 and a 20 inch frontal now i'm gonna use the got to be um this is the what's this called it's a spray shine thingy magic and yeah i'm gonna put that on my hair to give it a little bit of sheen i actually washed this wig i plucked it before 
and I actually started a video on it but I didn't like how it looks so I'm like you know what girl you're gonna do over this video so I'm gonna one curl this hair but I'm not gonna do it super tight so all I'm doing is using the one iron to mimic the natural body wave of the hair but as i said before i washed the hair so the curls are a little bit looser so that's why i'm using the wand to make it more defined so i'm just going to continue to do that i didn't even use the iron for too long it was just quick and easy and usually with long hair the bundles tend to be on the thinner side but these bundles were so full I usually wear my bundles in the longest maybe like 18 to 20 inches but I went for the 24 inches because I'm like why not it's winter wear long hair sis so I sprayed a little bit of the sheen in the hair and this is how it turned out it's just loose and yeah I absolutely love the final look okay guys now this is my final look it's simple glam now these earrings and the necklace is from fashion nova my jacket is from forever 21 bodysuit from garage my jeans are also from fashion nova and my boots are from aldo so everything you will need will be in the description box down below and that is all that i have for you guys today for this look Now it is time for today's featured subscriber and it goes to someone who simply goes by the name Jay. Thank you so much for being a part of the notification gang and being an awesome subby. I love you so much and I appreciate your support. If you want to be a featured subscriber in my next video, all you have to do is that you are subscribed to the channel first and foremost. Second, make sure that your post notifications are on so you can be here for video posting. And third, spam the comment section. Let me feel your love okay and then you will be the next featured subscriber now that is all that i have for you guys today you can follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at damn that chef if you haven't subscribed to the channel is you're like way well, out weird pun go on ahead and subscribe down below i'll catch y'all in the next video go on big up on yourself bye guys